Today we're going to go over a Handy Hunter class and what you should be doing when you go into your Handy Hunter class. So let's get started. Hi there, my name is Laura and welcome to another video. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. And if you're a regular visitor to these videos, thank you so much for coming as well. Now if you'd like to win more ribbons at your next horse show, improve your riding and training, or generally like other horsey related stuff, then remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Now handy hunters, what about these handy hunters? We've seen them a lot at the horse shows and they are a little bit different than the regular hunters and I've been getting asked questions about the handy hunter and how you get into the handy hunter ring and what the judge is looking for. So I thought I'd share it with you. I recently watched the Handy Hunter class from the Devon Horse Show and it was amazing. The horses were lovely. There's such a depth of quality there. The Handy Hunter classes are starting to become a regular occurrence at the local shows and training shows. And so I thought I'd answer some questions that people have been asking me. Now, if I haven't answered the question you have, please feel free to reach out to me and I will do my best to answer your question. Or you can put the question down in the comments below because I'd love to hear from you. If you've entered a Handy Hunter class, put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about how you interpreted the Handy Hunter course that you competed in. They're a little bit different than the regular hunters, but the number one thing you have to remember is that the performance is the most important thing. The most asked question that I get is, how should I enter the ring in a, for a Handy Hunter class? And that is enter the ring, pick up your canter, and go to your first fence. No invitational circle, don't circle, don't trot, just walk in, walk through, that's a must. You have to walk through the end gate. And then canter to your first fence. And the first fence is usually near the end gate, going away from the end gate. So you walk into the gate, walk in through the end gate, pick up your canter, go to the first fence. Your horse should be handy enough, obedient enough, and well-trained that it can walk, canter, go to the first fence. Number two, the second question I get asked the most is, inside turn or outside turn? And here's my answer for you. The number one thing the judge wants to see is a good performance. If you chip in, you're going to be out. If you take a bad spot, you're going to be out. If your horse swims over the top of that fence, you're going to be out. If you can do an inside turn and do it nicely, efficiently, correctly, then you will probably get a better score for that turn than a horse does an outside turn. But if you need to do the outside turn to get a better approach for your horse, then by all means do that outside turn. But if you can do the inside turn and do it well, that shows a handy horse. Handy hunter should do efficient turns, but still they should be smooth and flowing and get your horse to the jump properly. And what about that trot fence? What do you do with that? When you're going for the trot fence, canter, make your turn, bring your horse back to a trot as efficiently as possible without any resistance or tension then trot the fence and trot right to the base of that fence. If you canter one or two steps in front of that fence, if you're in good company, you will be marked down for that. So trot right to the base of that fence, over the jump, and leave away from the trot fence at an even steady canter. If you land in a trot, that means that you're not going forward enough or your horse isn't pushing enough from the hindquarters. How to do that hand gallop fence. As a handy hunter, your handy hunter should be adjustable. And that means having a regular canter, your regular speed that you do the hunters with. And then sometimes in a handy hunter class, there is a hand gallop fence. And you have to show a difference of pace between your regular hunter pace and the hand gallop fence. Your horse should be adjustable, obedient, and relaxed as it's going from its regular canter to its forward canter and then back again without any resistance or tension from its hand gallop to the regular canter. The judge will be looking for tension, swishing the tail, tossing the head, tension through the neck, and resistance. 
Judge wants to see writability. And finally, how do you exit the ring for a handy hunter class? Once you've finished that last fence, you land, recovery stride, and quickly, efficiently as possible, bring your horse back to a walk and exit the ring, free walk, on a loose rein. Show your horse's walk. Show how calm, cool, relaxed, and obedient your horse is. My name is Laura, and if you'd like to win more ribbons at your next horse show, improve your riding and training, or generally like other horsey-related stuff, remember to subscribe. Thanks now. Bye.